Hello everyone, this is Shadow Fury 33 with a basic explanation of Akron's time travel mechanics. Time travel in Akron has two distinct meanings. Primarily, it refers to the player movements to different points on the timeline. It can also refer to moving units through time, which we'll go over later. Player movement in time is the most common form of time travel in Akron. Players can move freely along the timeline by clicking on the timeline at the desired location. As well, the speed at which a player progresses along the timeline can be set at will. The player can pause to issue exact orders without panic, go into slow-mo to issue precise orders without falling behind too far, go at normal speed to keep a careful eye on things while keeping up with the present, and fast forward through events to take the initiative. Being able to move to any point in time allows a player to change orders they have previously given. All orders given to units are tied to the point in time at which they were given. If I tell a unit to move, and then go back in time, the order happens exactly when I had ordered it. If I go back further, and give the same unit an order, it will obey me until the first order I sent comes in, at which point it will proceed to where I had first ordered it to go. To avoid units acting from many different player revisions, orders can be undone by selecting the unit and either hitting Z twice to undo all future orders, or hitting Delete and selecting the range along the timeline which should have orders removed. With the future orders undone, the unit acts along my final orders. It is important to note that any orders issued will only be propagated by players or natural timeways witnessing them. For example, if I go back one minute and tell my unit to move to the original destination, and undo their previous orders, this order is now tied to this time. If I move back to when I was, the unit remains at its previous destination. Once the red time wave passes by the order given one minute ago, it will process the game with a move order from one minute ago having been issued. If we go to where that time wave has crossed, we see that the unit is indeed following the order from one minute ago. If you leave a point and then come back without a time wave passing it, you can be sure it will be as you left it. Any orders that are issued in the past require counter energy. This depletes more quickly the further you are from the present, and also depletes proportionally to how many units are being ordered. It will recharge at a constant rate when it's been used. The second meaning of time travel involves units traveling through time, also known as chronoporting. Once chronoporting technology has been researched and any necessary structures built, units can be sent to any point in time within a limited range, typically no more than half the timeline in any direction. When a unit is sent back in time, their departure and arrival are placed in the timeline. Like any changes to game state, these only affect points on the timeline which have had time waves past them and move on. If we look at the time up from the departure, we see that the 2B chronoported unit is still there. If we look at the time between the departure and the arrival, we see that the unit that has been chronoported has not yet arrived. However, once a time wave comes through, we see that the chronoported unit has arrived. It is important to keep in mind that the departure and arrival events are just as dependent on time waves as any other game event. This means that if you don't select the units to be chronoported, you will not follow them through time, and so the arrival will not show up until the time wave passes the arrival time. Similarly, if you move away from the departure after ordering it, the departure will not show up until the time wave passes its time. This allows for chronoporting to occur without tipping off an opponent, though it is much harder to pull off. I hope this tutorial helped you to understand Akron's time travel mechanic. Thanks for watching, and have fun in the game.